What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there killing it on the tables. Today, we're going to look over this session. From last night, we got 2,700 hands in. Biggest win was only $42. Biggest loss was $25. So we really didn't get in any big hands over this fairly large sample size. But we did manage to win some money, and we got in some fun spots. Let's jump right into it. First hand we're looking at is at the 100 NL table. We have ace, king, in the small blind. Folds are on to us, and we open raise to 4x. We get called by the big blind, who is a recreational player. High VPIP, low aggression. We get an ace on the flop. We have top pair, top kicker. We check back, and we get a check from the very low aggression player. A five of hearts comes on the turn. Again, this player has very low aggression on the turn, but does not fold very often when bet into. So I put in a bet of half pot, and we get a call. Probably could have put in a little bit larger of a bet sizing on the turn, but half pot will do and again this player has very low fold frequency on the river yes the sample size is very small only 55 hands but i put in a bet of nine dollars hopefully we can get a pair under the aces to make a call here and we do get a call and we take down that pot of 32 dollars with top pair top kicker now we have pocket aces at the 25 nl table open raise to 75 cents from under the gun plus one folds around to the big blind who makes a call flop is nine high rainbow big blind leads out for full pot i just make a call here with the aces the turn is the four of hearts again this player leads out with a large bet almost full pot i just make the call again you could have argued for putting in a raise there on the turn if this player did flop something like nine eight for top two his nine eight was then discounted with the fours the three of hearts comes on the river there's 13 20 in the pot frog usn leads out for a big bet almost full pot if i raise here i'm probably only going to get called with hands that beat me so i do just make a call here and we see that he was betting nines the whole way really strong interesting play but we take down that pot of over 34 bucks with the aces and fours now we have pocket kings under the gun open raise to 4x we get called by the middle position player and it folds around there is 950 in the pot flop comes out two tone 10 high very wet board i just check back i see this player's high aggression frequency and high bet percentages on the flop turn and river but our opponent checks back on the flop the turn is the five of spades doesn't improve many hands i lead out for a little bit more than half pot 490 and we get a call the river is the 10 of diamonds if this player did have a 10 in their hand they probably would have bet the flop if this player had a five in their hand they probably would have three bet the turn chances are that this player was on some kind of draw or has some pair less than tens they have an 84 percent bet on river which is very very high so i decided to check back and try to induce some bluffs from this player he does bluff he puts in 1206 there's no point in raising because if we raise here we're only going to get called by hands that beat us. So I do just make the call, and we see that he had an ace high, missed flush draw, and we take down that pot of over 41 bucks. Now we're at the 200 NL. We have ace queen offsuit on the button. We get an open raise from the hijack seat to $6, 3x. We put in a three bet on the button here, and we get a call. There's 43 bucks in the pot. We are in position against a player we don't have a ton of hands on, which seems to be the case after we just recently moved up to the 200 NL. We don't have a ton of hands on these players. We don't really know who's the recreational, who are the regulars at this level. Our opponent has pretty solid numbers, though. Plays a very aggressive game, but it doesn't really matter what his numbers are when we flop three queens like that. He checks back. I bet 22, half pot. We have the backdoor nut flush draw. We have a backdoor straight draw, and we have trips on the flop. This is a board that connects with a lot of hands, though, and he doesn't have a very high full percentage on the flop. So I put in the $22 bet, and he does make a fold though that one could have been one where we wanted to check back on the flop but there are a lot of cards that could hurt our hand that come on the turn let me know what you guys think about this one is this one of those where i should have slow played it on the flop trying to induce some bets from him on the turn let me know what you think in the comment section below all the hands in this video are being played on America's Card Room. America's Card Room is great for U.S. players and players around the world. It is the only place I am playing poker online right now. If you want to check out America's Card Room, head down to the video description. There is a link down there. Now we're looking at Ace-8 offsuit in the big blind. Full drawn to the small blind who open raises to 2.5x. I make a call here with the Ace-8 in position, and we flop an Ace. 
there's also two tens on the board. Our opponent leads out for a little bit larger than half pot, and I make the call. The turn is the four of diamonds, and again, our player bets for a little bit larger than half pot. I just make a call, and the river is the king of clubs. Our opponent leads out for $32 right here. He's bet every single street. I think if this player had anything but a 10, they would check back the river. I think a 10 is the only hand that is betting a river here or possibly jack queen we're probably gonna split with any ace but does an ace bet this river i think most aces are gonna check back since we were calling the whole way there's a good chance that we have a 10 in our hand but this player does not seem to be scared that we have much of a hand so his hand is most likely very strong and i do make the fold here that one could have been our biggest loss of the evening and if that is I'm okay with that. That one didn't hurt very much. Do you guys think this one was a fold on the river? Let me know in the comment section below. Now we're looking at pocket sevens on the button at the 25 NL. We are very deep stacked. We have almost three buy-ins, almost 300 big blinds on this table. And we wind up flopping middle set, very strong hand. And we get a player who leads out for half pot into us. I just make a call here. The turn is the king of diamonds. There's 263 in the pot and our opponent leads out for two thirds of the pot. From a player with a very low aggression frequency, this looks like a very strong hand betting into us. I see that this player does not fold to three bets very often. So I put in a three bet of 575 and we get a call. There's now 14, 13 in the pot. This player is 18, 11 behind. The six of spades on the river gives us the full boat and our opponent leads out for six 71 a little bit less than half pot this is an easy all in for us we get it all in our opponent calls with top pair top kicker and we take down a pot of almost 50 bucks with the full boat oh we have pocket nines under the gun open raise to 3x we get a call from under the gun plus one also the hijack seat we are only six handed we wind up flopping middle set once again check back and our opponent checks back now we lead out for two-thirds pot and we get raised a min raise we are playing a very tight opponent but a regular player our opponent has won a large majority of three bets on the turn so we know that our player only three bets with very strong hands once again what are the strong hands that we should be worried about aces and queens is it likely that this player would play aces and queens this way probably not they could have slow played them pre-flop what other hands would he be three betting here ace queen ace nine possibly ace five pocket fives so aces and queens only make up a small percentage of this player's range right now let's try to get this player's entire stack let's put in a four bet and we get a call the eight of clubs does not improve any hands if there was a chance that this player was on a flush draw which is very small as well but possible he did miss but i lead out because i think this player has something like ace queen ace nine and they're gonna have a lot of trouble folding that hand on the river bet so i jam and we do get a call from bottom set taking down a pot of almost 50 four bucks with set over set remember all those coolers we had in the last video if you want to check out the last video here is the link but this time we are on the reverse side we have pocket kings and we are running up against aces we get an under the gun raised to 3x and we three bets from the big blind to 275 we just get a call from under the gun flop is 10 high monotone diamonds we do not have a diamond in our hand check back and we get a bet of half pot 266 i just call with the kings the turn is the eight of spades i just check back again and we get a bet of a little bit less than seven dollars two-thirds pot there's a good chance that this this player has something like ace king most likely with only one diamond and we are going to be check calling the whole way down there's also a chance they have jacks queens or of course the aces the eight of hearts on the river is a brick again i'm just going to check call the river and hopefully get the showdown for cheap but maybe we can induce a bluff from a missed flush draw i check he bets the rest of his stack i make a call we were up against aces i think we played it pretty well we tried to get the showdown for cheap i could see a lot of players checking back this river even with aces saving us some money in the long run and i can see a lot of players bluffing this river too with missed flush draws so i do think that was the right play but you guys can let me know what you think about this one down in the comment section below biggest hand of the evening we have pocket jacks we get a limp from under the gun plus two and we get an isolation bet from the player to our right i just call with jacks here folds around to the small blind who makes it 13 to go 
This is a recreational player. Very, very small sample size. Only two hands on this player. Folds back to us. I think Jax plays pretty well against a player that we have no clue how they play. It's a very short sack. I'm willing to just get it in here and hopefully we run into something like tens, nines, a lot of ace blanks out there. But we do run into pocket aces. Not the best spot to be in with Jax, but there is our money card on the flop of Jack. No ace on the river, and we take down that pot of over 80 bucks with a full boat. Sometimes we get lucky, guys. Gotta love it when you crack those aces. This session was reviewed on Hold'em Manager 2. If you guys are not using Hold'em Manager, I highly suggest trying out Hold'em Manager. There's a 30-day free trial. If you click the link down in the video description, click that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. We've got tons of great videos coming out on an almost daily schedule. I'm going to be putting together a video of double final tables from last night, side by side final tables. Tables. That is a rare occasion, so don't miss out on that video. Click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Be back soon with a new video, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.